What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Shaka. I want to start off by saying I apologize because just yesterday on Sunday night, um, like I, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I posted about um, cars and coffee that morning that I didn't make it to because, you know, boy was over here cutting off all his hair. <laughs> yeah, it had to go, dog. I was looking crazy on camera. I know. I know. Now I should look, you know, a little bit more presentable, you know what I'm saying? Don't 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 mind this little scar that's like right here, on my forehead. Yeah, that that was an accident that happened at work. Okay, I'll throw the video in there here. What's going on, everybody? So, messing with this stupid ass CX9, right? Had to do the wheel bearing. So I'm over there using the air hammer trying to chisel it out. You see this? You see this cut on my forehead? Do y'all see that right there? <laughs> Look. Look, that this whole piece of metal right there. I don't even know y'all can see that. But that whole piece of metal was in my forehead. Yeah. So next time I use a damn air hammer, I'm gonna use a whole my whole face shield mask for my uh for my welding machine because that's crazy, bro. I had to pick that shit out of my forehead. <laughs> but yeah, in today's video, um we're down here doing some more stuff on the D sixteen Y motor build. I don't know if I showed, well, I didn't really get to show you guys because it was more like a picture because I ran out of storage. But, um, yeah, I got the motor all wrapped up here, nice, ready to go. The bottom end of the block is all put together. I don't know if you can see all of that in there because the flash. Yeah, no, yeah, I can't see shit. But, yeah, the water pump is on there, timing. I mean, not the timing, the tensioner. Yeah, all that stuff is on there. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I put that all together. Uh, bottom end is all complete now. I do want to apologize to everybody that was at the Sunday car meet at the Kmart up there in on uh, Tillman Street. Uh, my GoPro was acting like a fool. See, some guy did a burnout right in uh Malibu. I don't even know. He had he said it had a 350 in it with a supercharger. I was like, oh shit, okay. Like, uh, pretty dope. Old school Malibu. Um, yeah. Uh as soon as he started doing his burnout, I ran towards him to go get, you know, some content of him trying to do his burnout, but that didn't work. And then I started recording, you know, talking about the police showed up, so I was leaving. When I was leaving, on my way out, the police had pulled him over and I just wanted to catch that in the video, right? Or had them like parked in the parking lot, or whatever. And I just wanted to catch them, like, oh, they got caught, like, type, you know, some dumb shit like that. But, anyways, when I tried to go do that, I corrupted the videos that were on that were already on my SD card. So all the videos from that night got corrupted. I couldn't, I could, I can't see any of them. So they all got deleted, bro. And there was some good content. It was some good content. But hopefully, in the next two weeks. Um, my boy Ryan that hosted that meet, um, he said he's going to be hosting another one, like, um, in the following Sundays. Probably, I think, I think we should really do that Sunday meet every first Sunday and last Sunday of each month. I feel like that would be kind of cool just to have, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so we're going to be doing that, which I think that's probably what it is. First Sunday, last Sunday type of deal or deal. But yeah, but I'll, I'll make sure I'll record it and make sure I don't mess up the content for that. But in today's video, <laughs> we're going to be polishing some valves for the D16Y8 head here. Yeah, I have it sitting down here like this because of the simple fact that I haven't got to power wash it. So we're going to be doing that today in this video. We're going to be power washing the uh, cylinder head and getting all this gunked all cleaned out and whatnot. Like, it's not much carbon built up, but it's enough where it's just like, it looks gross. You know what I'm saying? And especially on the valves there. Yeah. 
The exhaust side is like crazy built up. But that's all right though. That that's that's how it's supposed to be. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be cleaning that out, and hopefully that you know makes it look a lot more presentable and more awesome. And you know, it definitely should make. Okay, I shouldn't say it should make more power, but I'm hoping it makes more power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We out here trying to build these single cams right. Well, at least I am. Uh, I've seen a lot of people trying to. Yeah, a lot of people don't succeed. Because y'all don't take the steps and time to actually break it down. You know what I mean? Do it all. But anyways, I already polished one valve just to see if it uh, would come out nice, you know? So here's, um, here's an old valve. Um, yeah, just, just look at how corroded that thing is. Just nasty. This is the intake valve, by the way, too. Which, I mean, it isn't that bad, but it's pretty horrible. And this, right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All nice and shiny and cleaned up. Damn, that shit looks so damn good. I don't even know why. But yeah. Yeah, I just polished this one all up. Made it all look nice. So now it's time to do the rest of them. And then do the exhaust. The only sad part is that my wife wanted to do this with me. And she's at work. But I need to make content. So <laughs> I'm going to start doing this. Uh, polishing the rest of these valves. Making them look all pretty pretty. And then maybe later on today, I'm waiting for it to get a little warmer outside so we can go do some stuff on White Girl, honestly. So we're just gonna polish these valves real quick in a little time lapse. And I just wanted to explain, you know, what happened yesterday. And yeah, that's all. And you know, my whole hair cutting situation. Yo, I'm telling you guys, I wanted to keep the fro. I don't know if y'all know, but I, like I said, I loved my fro, I wanted to keep it. I really did, but I do my own haircut. So if y'all want to crack on, you know, it looks messed up. My hairline isn't straight. That's okay. That's all right, because I did it myself. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so when I was cutting my hair, right, I usually um, uh, do, like, I usually cut, like, the sides right here off. Like, I don't know. You see how, like, my, my shape up comes down, and then, like, it starts to curve. So that curve, like, right here around my hair, I usually just go straight with um with the one. And just go all the way back to cut all the hair that's like behind my ears and stuff. Because it would be mad annoying. I know you guys probably don't want to hear this. But anyways. Um, it would be mad annoying, right? So I, I usually cut that off. And I was trying to blow out the back to like even that out. And I'm only one person. I got my bathroom mirror which folds into three. And then I have some little handheld mirror that I stand there like this. And look into the back of the mirror like. Eh. And then I use the other hand. And I'm like, you know what I mean? Trying to shave up the back of my head. But that didn't work so well, cause I'm, I should have had somebody holding the other damn mirror so I can see. But you know, it's whatever. I ended up going too high on the one side, and then I went, you know, try to even that out on the other side. And by the time I knew, it was on the top of the back of my head already. And I was just like, you know what? This all gotta come off. <laughs> it's all gotta go. So now we're looking like this for the summer. You know what I mean? Uh, it's gonna grow back. I might end up just letting it grow back out. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, we're gonna get back into this. I'm gonna get you with a time lapse on it. So when I get down to that, yeah, yeah, y'all catch, I'll be back. What's going on, everybody? Back at it again. Um, yeah, I took some time. Uh, it's later on in the day, I should say. But I took some time to, uh, you know, do some stuff on White Girl, uh, the four door uh, CNG Honda Civic. But uh, yeah, I did. Get to polish you know some valves i had my wife uh down here earlier helping me out she uh polished one and yeah just check them out real quick you know oh bad lighting sorry there we go yeah but they looking brand new yo nice and clean nice and polished so we continue to keep on doing that i have what four more to go i'm actually on one right now on the gun and yeah so uh the sin yeah watch my guy 
Actually, glad that I kept those windows. So, but anyways, right now I have the door windows for the I am, uh, give me a second. The, uh, so yeah, basically all the windows that I've made, I have all the glass stack back here that I can use as templates for actually making it like that. So, yeah, so I gotta figure it out. Nobody's screaming on TV. TV, look at that. But, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, first step, uh, I'll throw the link of the video that I watched on um, doing this. Um, he did them to his Mini Cooper valves. He said, you know, you can do this to basically anything. So, I'm trying to, instead of buying new valves. I mean, new valves are cheap, but at the end of the day, I was just like, you know what? Process I can do myself. Why not? So, yeah, um, 800 is the first uh, sandpaper I'm using. Then a thousand, then 15, and then I'm hitting it with this uh, zero grid, uh, you know, roll pad type thing. Um, yeah, just to clean it off, and then I am micro polishing it with uh, mother's polish so getting them to a nice finish as you can see it right over there so I'm gonna get into it get it on the time lapse so y'all can just keep on watching that alright really close but remember I don't need this whole section on the bottom because I have to see where the lines are down on the window mind you these are only the uh I believe uh the intake valves start to do the exhaust ones so I'm, I'm just showing you the, you know how, how a way you do it how the way I'm doing it you know just using a drill um, yeah just wet sanding you can see I got my little butter bowl right here full of all the water and all the gritty nastiness it's been making a mess not gonna lie all over. Oh, yeah, and I do have this uh, scuff pad that I'm just, you know, I'm cleaning the whole valve first before I actually wet sand them. So that way I don't have um, too much gunk that I have to take off. But. That's in so clean right now. I mean, the valve has a little like dark spot here and over here, but I ain't worried about that. I'm not really worried about that, to be honest. I think it'll be fine. Nice and polished. On to the next one. <clears throat> Hello, new gear. Yep. That's how I'm uh, gonna do that. So here's a. Damn. I didn't realize I was so damn close. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, that's how I polished my valves. You know, 
I mean, yeah, it could come out a lot much better, but hey, you know what? I ain't worried about it. It has a nice reflection. I can see myself in there. I ain't saying I see myself like 100%, but. Right. It is what it is, Playboy. You already know. We want to do what we got to do. GoPro had me freaking out for a sec. I thought I was corrupting my video again. Whew. But thank God it did it. Um, so yeah. I just finished up the last valve. Didn't get to show you that. But nice and pretty. Show you all of them when I get to it. I got two more to do. Everything into it. And then we're finished. time lapsing on these two last ones this is real time consuming but you know it's just stuff that I have to do for this motor I mean I should have power washed the actual cylinder head but I didn't get to do that because like I said I was messing with white girl today so yeah let me get back into it
Ugh. Have to take y'all off the wall real quick. But yeah, finally got the last valve finished here, as you can see. Looks nice and pretty, right? <laughs> all right so i got all the valves finished up here you can see right in there i uh, forget about this damn lighting gotta bring to this nasty ass table but just look at them they look like brand new valves now yeah They look real, real shiny. I don't know if I want to um, get valve guides yet. Um, heard something that like it's best to do that, and I I don't know yet. I'm still. That's why I haven't really got anywhere with this motor. I'm um, with the head part. <clears throat> I'm reassembling the, the head yet, but like like I said, it's a process. Um, this is the first step: cleaning the valves, which I'll be doing the exhaust next, and then from there. Um, yeah, I gotta clean the actual cylinder head because it's not cleaned yet. I have to do that. And what's up? What's really after that? Uh, okay. Um, no, there's not really much to do after that. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just have to finish cleaning the exhaust valves and installing them into this beautiful head here that got decked by beeves you already know gotta super clean this clean this all good make it look all nice <laughs> um but yeah man i'll be the end of this video here you know like i said this d16 y8 motor is going to be a process of rebuilding but um, at the end of the day, I just try to at the end of the day, I just try to, you know, do as much work as I can, not over push myself on it because I don't want to mess anything up at the end of the day. But I mean, so far, so, so good. So far, so good. Can't complain. We got the block already assembled behind me. So <laughs> That's a big major key, and I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to close out the video here, because I really don't got nothing else to say or talk about. Besides, you know, that corrupt, you know, video that happened. Yeah, I know. I, I apologize for everybody again. That was at the Sunday meet. I know you guys was counting on me for the video, and I was counting on myself to make that video. It, <sighs> yeah but yeah anywho yeah definitely like hit that hit that thumbs up hit that bell so get the notifications definitely comment in the bottom you already know leave leave a comment below holla at your boy you know what i'm saying <laughs> and yeah definitely subscribe to the channel you know for more content on d16 build and uh white girl and you know more honda content and more car content coming on the way so y'all just gotta stay tuned as i always like to say you know y'all take it easy have a wonderful night peace love and enjoy grease y'all later